Joshua tells his people, Sanctify yourself for tomorrow. The Lord will do wonders among you. I want to see great things in my life. I want to see great things in my kids. But it's not going to happen if, if I live my life like there's no God in my life. I must embrace what God tell me to do according to his, his word, the Bible. Number one, we have to sanctify because God is a holy. God is a holy being. The, we have to, we must follow him. Number two, if I want to see great things in my life, if I want to see wonders in my life, I have to sanctify myself. <clears throat> I want to encourage you, do not sanctify your life because you see somebody else because then you're going to convert yourself to be a follower to somebody else but not to God. If you want to if you want to be a God follower, then you must sanctify because God says you you need to be sanctified. Don't be sanctified because somebody else it looks like he's a holy person. He was like, like God. No. Sanctify yourself because God is a holy. Because God wants you to be sanctified for the rest of your life. Do not be a follower person. See, the problem is when we follow men's Men's fail. And when you see that person fail, then you're going to fail because it's going to be discouraged in your life because you expect more from this person. That is the reason why you have to sanctify. That means you have to follow God for his world. In the book of Ezekiel 2020, 20, chapter 20, and verse 20. You know, God is clear in his word. And number one, we says the uh, uh, God we have to sanctify because God is holy. God wants you to be uh, sanctified in your life. And you know, the thing one uh, today and this today we have so many people try to live, you know, their life like there is no God. You cannot call yourself a son of God, a child of God, if you're not sanctified. We have so many uh, followers um, in a different way. We have so many people following another man. In the book of Ezekiel 20, 20, the Bible says, And hallow my Sabbath, and they shall be a sign between me and you, that ye may know that I am the Lord your God. You know, this is, this is um, to be sanctified, you know. People, you know, expect the a child of God is a different in this world. But we have so many Christians that have not sanctified their life and that's why the work don't want to come to, the, uh, to Jesus. Because so many Christians not living the way it's supposed to be. See, when we come to, uh, to a church, you sanctify, you sanctify this day. There's so many people doing business and, 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 and on Sunday. There's so many people going to church on Sundays and they're just looking at the clock because, oh, I have I having a meeting with my boss. I mean, 
it's okay, you know, the, uh, once in a while, you know, you have to do, we live in a world that we have to support our families, we have to provide for, for uh, our kids, but let me tell you something, if that and every single Sunday that you come to church and, and, and you like rushing into, you know, I don't know what time this pastor is going to finish, please pastor, uh, make it fast, make it quickly because I'm having a meeting in about an hour. <laughs> Sanctify. The Sunday has to be sanctified in your life. Dedicate this day for the Lord. Do not be rushing on Sunday. And hallow my Shabbat. And they shall be a sign between me and you. That ye may know that I am the Lord your God. When I was living in Los Angeles, I remember that I used to work for them um, at Chevron gas station. And every single Saturday, I see the Jewish and Orthodox people walking with his family to the synagogue. Every single Saturday, the same families, they go on straight to the uh, synagogue and they, when they, they done, they go back to their houses. They don't do nothing. Because that's in the Holy Scriptures. They sanctify themselves to, to God. Unfortunately, that's the Old Testament. But we can, we can apply this, this manner of live, you know, in our life. And these people dedicate themselves to sanctify their Shabbat. And I used to see a lot of people, and I, and I, and I even laugh about, you know, some of them because they, you know, it's, it's like, you know, like uh, soldiers. The head of the house go first and then uh, the wife goes behind him with the kids it's like the man is 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 uh, is telling his family where to go <laughs> and i say why cannot go why they cannot go together if they go to the temple but that's that's the thing in, in a jewish family in orthodox jewish the the man goes first and then the family goes after. They, these people are, you know, thinking, okay, we're doing the right thing. Why not think about, you know, like these people? Let's sanctify. Let's be uh, God's follower. Let's sanctify ourselves for the Lord. I am the Lord, your God. This about sanctify is gotta be every day, every day, every day. It's not only Sunday, but every day we must sanctify. In First Corinthians chapter six, from verse nine to eleven, the apostle Paul talk to the church and he has a, a, a great burden in his mind and Apostle Paul tell the church this non ye not that the righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God but not deceive neither fornicators nor idolaters nor idolaters not effeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind nor thieves nor covetous, nor drunkards. All this is a circle of life. And such, and verse 11 says, uh, uh, but on 10, nor thieves, um, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are watched, 
but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Amen. See, another thing why do we have to sanctify is because we're being sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ. I see a lot of videos where people, even the, 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 the people are making movies about these things, about the blood of Jesus. And so many false religions are selling um, uh, things like a piece of wood of the cross of Jesus. This is our false teaching. I was watching a movie where this somebody bring something and it says, oh, this, you know, it has a little red liquid and that red liquid, they were claiming that there was the, um, the blood of Jesus. What well, the Bible says in Hebrew, the, 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 completely, the blood of Jesus is completely um, in heaven. This is the one who testify that uh, he gives his blood for every single sinner. The whole blood of Jesus is in heaven. And the throne of grace is right in heaven. And so many false religious and so many false uh, leaders in this world are teaching in a different way. If you are in one of these circle of life, escape from that. Run away from that. If you still join, if you still love to be drunk, let me tell you something. If you come to church drunk, that's a sin. That's a sin. 